So the Kansas City Chiefs, they, their offense is about to be very, very scary. It, it really is, man. The offense is finally going to open up. You know, last year they had a very lackluster offense. It wasn't really too good. And the offense finally looked like it has a chance to open up because I now we have, you know, we run a lot of 13 personnel. So when it comes to the tight end room, we got Travis Kels, obviously, who's, a, you know, we already know how he is. We know his rankings. And we have Noah Gray, who's been a very solid backup tight end, who's caught some passes, who's made some plays, who's got some touchdowns, who's made some big plays, big catches. And then we bring in a guy like Irv Smith Jr., who's not really that bad of a tight end three. I mean, he has a lot of upside. He's way better than Blake Bell. Um, he could block very good. He even he's, he's even kind of explosive. Like he he's not that bad of a player as people think he is. Irv Smith has a lot of potential. He has a lot of upside, and that's why Brett Beach signed him. I've been to Irv Smith, and I've been to he had a lot of potential, man. But um, when he was on the Vikings, he was cold. He was cold. That Bengals year was a down year for him. But when he was on the Vikings, he was pretty cold to me. But enough for Irv. Um, Hollywood Brown. I know that's who y'all all came for because he's on the thumbnail. But Hollywood Brown obviously helps the Kansas City Chiefs offense open up a lot because he could take off the top, like take up the top, you know, like running deep routes, post routes, you know, like streaks, stuff like that. Or well, not streaks. That's in my bad. That's Madden, but fades. And we never really we, we haven't had a, a receiver like that that can actually make plays in the deep ball in a very long time. So offenses are gonna have to scheme for the deep ball while Rasheed Rice is underneath making his moves, and while Travis Kelce is underneath doing the same thing. Him and Rasheed Rice will be eating underneath, and the deep crosser, the deep crossers with um, the deep crossers with um. Rasheed Rice and and um, Marquise Brown would definitely be very, very good. And I want to see how the Chiefs take that. Now, you got a running back like Isaiah Pacheco, who's also very, very solid. And you want to put another running back next to him so the offense can open up even more. So I'm going to give you a little mock draft in this video while we add it as well. So I'm not the best mock drafter in the world. And yes, I give up a lot of capital for that third round pick. But Tyler Newbin is the next Kyle Hamilton. He's the best safety prospect since Kyle Hamilton. And Xavier Leggetti is like a hell of a wide receiver. He's like an A.J. Brown, D.K. Metcalf type of guy. You know, very big body, a lot of heart, a lot of grit. Um, Tavondre Sweat is one of the best run stoppers in the, um, in the yeah. football draft, you know. Um, he could learn behind Mike Pennell. He could rotate with him and... I definitely think that'll be a very good big body next to Chris Jones to take up some space right there. It was Keandre Colburn was supposed to be, but Tavondre Sweat is actually very, very good. Bucky Irvin, very good running back, very elusive, um, could catch out the backfield, very good running back to replace Jet McKinnon. And I think he'll be very solid. Now for this package, I probably did overpay, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't know if the Chiefs will really do this type of trade in real life, but I do want them to try to move up and get another third round pick however way they can because cam hart is going to be the luxurious Sneed replacement and the reason why i traded Sneed for a third is because that's what they're trying to do that's what they want to do they want to trade Sneed for a third to the Colts. if it was to be a Sneed deal that is how it will look cam hart man i mean he's very physical he could hold his own on the outside he's not scared to press he's not scared to jam and i don't know why pff is giving me these grades because these are great picks and i feel like this is well-rounded i mean you, you're improving the defense still Improving some needs on defense, and you're getting you another wide receiver. You're getting a very good running back, and another quality wide receiver that I could catch, and he's reliable. And Luke McCaffrey, who's Christian McCaffrey's brother, he has all the upside in the world to be a solid wide receiver. And then you get Cody at the last round. I mean, hey, what's the problem? I don't see the problem with that. Cody's a very good running back. We need three running backs. I'd rather it be three young running backs. You know, just you know, improving the team with youth and depth. And doing what we got to do. I mean, Hollywood Brown is a chief. And if we get Xavier Leggett, that's the get Hollywood and Rasheed Rice. That's pretty, pretty good with Travis Kelce. And if we get Bucky Irvin and Cody, we have three good quality running backs. And I think that's what it's all about, man. I think this the offense is going to open up. The Chiefs offense is going to work wonders. They're going to do, they're going to cook up. They're going to work their magic. And I just can't wait to see it. And the Kansas City Chiefs, man, I mean... It's going to be a very well-rounded team. Insane defense. 
with a very high-powered offense. I do expect Patrick Mahomes to return to his MVP form after having a down season, not in the postseason. He obviously won the Super Bowl. I'm talking about a down season when it comes to, like, um, the regular season. That, was, that wasn't Patrick Mahomes' numbers. That's not the numbers that he usually put up, you know. But now let's take a look at all the numbers from the, from the Chiefs squad receivers right now. Let's take a look at that from last season. So Travis Kels, um, he had 93 receptions, 984 yards with five TDs, averaging about 10.6 yards per um, catch. So Travis Kels, he had a very solid season, right? But that's not the Travis Kels that we know. And I know, I know, I say his name wrong. I say his last name wrong. But I know it's Kelsey, but I mean, I, I already, I, I'm used to saying Kelsey, bro. That's just how I've always said it. I'm sorry about that. If that gets y'all triggered, my fault. It's just a name. But he was supposed to have a thousand yards. He only played 15 games, so he's still, he's not washed, bro. Almost having a thousand, basically a thousand yards, 984, come on, in 15 games. That was still very, very good for Travis Kelsey. So he still has what it got, I mean, he still has what it takes to, you know, produce and he showed that in the playoffs because he returned to his old form he went crazy so he, Travis Kels is definitely still very very good so the offense we know that he needs the offense but now these young studs is going to help him out now, I ain't naming Kadarius and Scott Moore because you already know how I feel about them they have their I don't know them they don't I don't I don't know about them dudes I'm not mentioning them on my channel no more that's not it's my last time mentioning them now I'm playing but Rasheed Wright 70 yard 79 receptions that that's that's tough 79 receptions as a rookie is tough 938 yards and mind you Mahomes didn't really lean on him until like mid-season so 938 yards it's amazing for a rookie um seven tds so he outperformed Kels with the tds you know so he shows a lot of promise for a rookie he shows a lot of promise that he's gonna be very very good in this league that's what he shows and that's what i'm getting out of this ever she race is gonna be a stud averaging 12 yards per reception He's a stud, man. He's nice. He's very, very good. And then Justin Watson, who's a very solid wide receiver three, I'd say. No, he might have been wide receiver two, to be honest with you. Um, 27 receptions, which is okay. 460 yards, which is very good for a guy like him. That was his best season yet. And three TDs. So I expect Justin Watson to just keep getting better. And I do want the Chiefs to keep him because I don't really see why we would get rid of him because he's a very, very solid you know, guy. He's reliable. Mahomes trusts him. Hollywood Brown, 574 yards, 51 receptions, 4 TDs. And mind you, he's been going through injuries and a horrible quarterback play. So Hollywood Brown is ready. He's ready to go crazy with the Chiefs. He's going to put up 800 to 1,000 yards. Sky's the limit for him, man. We don't know if he's going to put up more. Who knows? What I do know is that the Kansas City Chiefs are going to be very, very good next year. When we add a rookie wide receiver and we get, a, we get some running backs in his backfield that's going to complement Pacheco, and we add a rookie wide receiver or just another wide receiver in general, we're going to be very, very hard to beat. Travis Kelce is still him. Rasheed Rice is going to have a breakout leap year. Hollywood Brown is going to go crazy. And who? And Justin Watson is still a very reliable wide receiver three or depth wide receiver. He's very, very reliable. So we're going to be perfectly fine with whoever we add to the team. And this offense is back. And it's going to open up. And Mahomes is going to have a great year. And the defense is still going to be good no matter if we lose Snead or not. Clarity. I gave y'all a solution to that. Cam Hart, Tyler Newbin. That that makes up that secondary would be deadly with Tyler Newbin and Cam Hart. We wouldn't even remember this need. I'm telling y'all, just trust me on that. And you get a dude like Tavondre Sweat, who's just a nice D-line that piece with a lot of upside. So hopefully the Chiefs could just make a well, you know, well-rounded, balanced draft. And that would be very, very nice. But but I expect the Chiefs offense to take a leap in the 2025 season or 2024 to 2025 season. And the last two seasons, I mean, we haven't had a raw receiver reach the 1,000 yard mark. So maybe Hollywood Brown can finally change that. Um, he was a big name free agent wideout and he was the strongest fit for the Chiefs. And we needed a dude that could stretch the field, man. We needed him. And he his skill set like it really matches what we needed in this offense and speed 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 he brings it back so he brings up he brings back speed man he ran a 4.27 so he's very very good and i'm ready for this i'm ready to see what patrick Mahomes is gonna do with him man
So yeah, man, it's gonna be a very good year. I just can't wait to see it, man. Cheese priority, and I'm out. Peace.